All right. In this last lecture, we're going to look at using a current source as an active load. Okay, so we'll do the same type of analysis we did last time. We know that a our voltage gain AV is equal to big GM times the total resistance at the output node. And in this case, big GM will label the bottom transistor M1 and the top transistor M2. Big GM is equal to GM1. RA is equal to RO1 in parallel with RO2, the output resistances of both transistors. So we're really just finding the output resistance looking up into one transistor and down into the other transistor and putting them in parallel. Okay, this gives our voltage gain as minus GM1 times RO1 in parallel with RO2. All right, this is very big. And this is going to be good for making our ideal voltage amplifier. But we do need to note that we require something to generate the bias voltage VB. And that's this bias voltage for the PMOS transistor. And we'll look at some circuits to do that coming up in the next uh, set of notes. All right. One other thing that we can do to increase the voltage gain is to cascode the devices. And what this is doing is we're going to stack devices uh, to help us to increase the output impedance. So the impedance looking into the drain of the transistor, and we'll call this R load here. Okay, we can find what the impedance is from inspection. Remember, uh, effectively what's happening is that the bottom transistor R, uh, resistance R01 is the same as R dollar sign from our inspection analysis sheet. So we can show that R load is equal to RO2 times 1 plus GM plus GMB times the resistance at the source, which is RO1. All right, now we know that we can probably neglect GMB, and we will for the time being. And if we approximate that the output resistances of these two transistors are uh, about the same, then we can approximate this R load as being equal to GM times RO squared. So this is really big. This is like the intrinsic voltage gain of the transistor times the resistance. And you can see how that would improve the output characteristic of our amplifier if we had such a big impedance. Uh, one thing that we need to note though is that we still have to generate a bias voltage for the cascode device here and we need a higher voltage at the drain because both of these transistors need to stay saturated. Okay. So we'll stop there, and in the next lecture, what we're going to do is start looking at generating some bias voltages uh, using diode-connected transistors and things like that, and we'll also examine current mirrors.